Hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Rosie and today as you can see I'm wearing my traditional outfit and I also plated my hair the famous Ethiopian hairstyle which is called albaso now just to be more clear this hairstyle is popularly known in the northern part of Ethiopia as well as in Eritrea and is the only hairstyle you should go for whenever you're planning to step out in one of these outfits so that you'll have a complete look so I'm going for a wedding looking like this super excited looking forward to have a great time eat drink and dance with some cultural music but before i do i want to take you along with the transformation journey of this look so more or less today's video is going to be a get ready with me kind of video and guys as you've seen from the title of this video this hair was done right here today and i can't wait for you guys to meet my hairstylist she's been doing my hair for the longest time i can remember actually she's right here in front of the camera you're looking at her She's called Rosie. <laughs> okay guys, enough with the talk. And let me show you how this was done. And please, please, please stay tuned till the end of this video. So we'll start from here. I'm using darling hairpiece, but it can be any kind of hairpiece or you can even use a thread for this part. So basically what we are doing right now is making uh, different size of enhancers. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct English word though. Uh, I usually call them enhancers as it will lift the braids way higher than the usual braid size. So this hairstyle is widely known and also practiced in the northern part of Ethiopia. Some places called Wello, Gondar, Tigray and also in Eritrea. So I can say it's our signature hairstyle that we flaunt during holidays and special occasions. And I arrange them like this and they are a total of five pieces in different sizes. So the number can vary according to which style uh, of albaso you are making. Meaning albaso is not only one kind. There are so many different designs of albaso. And I'll continuously show you guys in the future videos. So albaso is going to be only for the front part of my hair. So I'll pay the remaining half so that it will be easy for me to put weaves later. So as we continue with the plating, let's talk a little bit about the Ethiopian cultural hairstyle and traditions. So for those of you who don't know Ethiopia, it's a landlocked country in the Horn of Africa. It shares borders with Kenya, Sudan, Eritrea and Djibouti. It's a home to more than 100 million inhabitants. There are more than 80 ethnic groups found in Ethiopia with different language, culture and traditions. So today our main topic is going to be one of the breathtaking custom or tradition of hair making in Ethiopia. So the one thing you should know here is the Ethiopian hairstyles are diverse and colorful. They characterize and distinguish each ethnicity and plays an important role in traditional societies. Depending on the gender, certain hairstyles can even provide information about a person's belief, marital status and to which ceremonial occasions they are participating in. In some of the traditional hairstyles are called Shuruba, Sadulla, Gami, Enderma Meat, Gofari, Eshim, Gutana, and so many others that I will not even finish listing here. 
Each style can tell something about a person who owned it. For example, you can look at a person's hair and know whether they are virgin, married, engaged, or widowed. Now, even though I promised you guys that I'll show you most of the cultural hairstyles, there are still some that I won't dare because it requires shaving some parts of the hair and I'm not ready to go through that, guys. But we can always practice the safe ones, am I right? So you can simply use this hairstyle like the one I'm showing you here today. If you have special occasions like wedding, holidays or any other parties, you'd like to attend wearing the Ethiopian attire.
So I'm done with the small cornrows and now I'm going to play the sides with the hairpiece. Now in the traditional days where there's no such thing called wig or hairpiece, people used to make this part with their own hair and still comes out gorgeous. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, the one without hairpiece could outsmart this one. So next time when we do this hairstyle, I'll try to show you guys uh, the one without hairpiece just to compare the difference. And just to add on this, there are so many designs of albaso done in the modern era. 
that does not require this the piece adding process and here are some pictures i've said for you guys to see so the one i'm doing now can be used as one method and another way you can also plate a straight corners first and you can add the remaining piece using crochet method So as you see me doing here, I only plated the two sides and I'm still remaining with some hair at the center. And now this will help me to hide this enhancer. I'm still calling it enhancer guys. May God help me. Someone come with the correct term. English is difficult. Anyways, I'll use my hair to hide this and then I'll join the other two sides and then we are done. Oh, 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 oh,
finally we are done. There were so many leftover parts that were supposed to be cut, but I can't do that on my own because I will not be able to differentiate the real hair and the wig. So let me just leave it as it is. And now it's time to add the extensions. The extension I'm using is Abuja hair piece, the one, uh, the one I showed you guys on my last video. I like using it a lot whenever I want to have a curly hairstyle. It gives me more of a natural look and I suggest you guys to try it too. If you haven't watched the video or if it's your first time here, I'll leave the link in the description box. You can go ahead and check that out. So guys this is how today's video look like and I truly hope you enjoyed it so now I'm going to leave you guys here and attend this beautiful wedding I kind of feel bad though that I cannot post photos or videos about to show you guys about how it went down I was previously informed that it's a private ceremony so we have to respect that so let me go and enjoy the rest of my day and I'll see you guys very very soon bye bye <laughs> I'm